Really stoked to have Rick, Gri Rick Griffin in the uh, studio tonight along with Randy North. Uh, I think Rick might have even coined the phrase stoked. He came up with a lot of great words that uh, surfers use today and uh, he was instrumental in, uh, in a real development at Surfer Magazine of uh, cartoon comic strips called Murphy's. Um, actually not Murphy's, Murphy. And uh, you know anybody that's been into surfing of course has followed the adventures of Murphy. And of course, all the great surfing movies uh, of the 70s, probably the most famous surfing movie of all time, Five Summer Stories, the posters that you saw on all those telegraph poles, well, Rick Griffin did them. Welcome to the show, Rick. Thank you. It's good to be here. <laughs> Rick, um, how did, I've talked to Randy a little bit, but how did you come to get into surfing art in the very first place? What made you think of something like uh, Murphy? Well, Murphy was based on a character that appeared in the uh, early sagas of the Irish seafarers. And uh, he was the son of a mermaid, and uh, Murphy actually means sea king. And, you know, you, you began, how did you come to get it into Surfer Magazine the very first time? I remember it was on the cover, and that's going back quite some time, but did Surfer come to you and ask, or were you just drawing these things, and all of a sudden someone discovered you one day? Well, I had these uh, adventures mapped out in my high school notebook, and uh, <laughs> John Severson was showing surf fever at our high school, and Randy here uh, took the work in and showed it to John, and then he brought me down and introduced me, and that's how I got started. And from that, you got into surf movie posters, and of course, you did some fantastic other things. Uh, you what, did the original concept for Rolling Stone, one of the most famous magazines on the newsstands today. Well, that's right. I did their original logo. Is it, is it exciting to create a cartoon character based upon surfing? It's tremendously exciting, tremendous. And, and where did those nam names like, you know, Cowabunga and Stoke and things, that, the terms that Murphy used all the way through, where did you come up with such things? Well, Cowabunga was coined from the Howdy Doody show. That was uh, what Buffalo Bob used to say when he used to get excited. <laughs> well, see, that's before my time, because coming from Australia, we never had TV sets in those days. <laughs> Well, that was one of the first shows on TV. <laughs> so, Randy, how did you get to know Rick? I mean, how did you first meet up with him? Well, it was uh, about 1957, and I grew up in Palos Verdes, and we used to serve Haggerty's and Bluff Cove, and there were no uh, high schools or junior highs up there, so they bust us down into uh, sort of the flatlands, and, um, you know, all the different groups of people would hang out at Nutrition, and there was this one fellow with, uh, like, long khaki pants and... French toed shoes and metal flake shirts, and he had to, his hair was real slick. I was a greaser, a hoe dad. <laughs> yes. I mean, but he was like one of the best looking greasers. I'd never seen anything. And I, I got to know him a little bit, and I said to him one day, I said, I said, hey, Rick, will you teach me how to shine shoes like that? Because it was like a secret thing for part of the, the image, and not, nobody in PV knew how to do that. And he, he looked at me and he said, well, what do you do for me? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, and I got, well, what can I do? So I said, well, I'll teach you how to surf. And he says, okay. That was a good trade, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so did you teach him how to ride a motorcycle and grease his hair back? That's right. <laughs> We're sniffing gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing today, you know? I mean, a lot of the stuff that uh, relates to surfing, particularly the surf movie posters, you know, surf movies aren't as big a thing today as they were then, although you just did blazing boards. What other things are you doing today? Well, I got a... I got a grass shack on a little island in the Pacific. I got perfect waves rolling through my backyard, and I got it all to myself. <laughs> I'll have to have you over. I, um, when, when can I come? <laughs> Soon. <laughs> That'd be great. And uh, what, what other art projects do you have besides? It looks like a lot of relaxation. Well, let's see. I just, uh, I'm working on an album cover for Quicksilver, Quicksilver Messenger Service. Fantastic. And um, what other albums have you worked on during, uh, through the years? Oh, there's too many, too, too numerous, too numerous to even mention. This um, is a, what, a book that uh, was published in the 80s of a lot of your, yeah, back a lot in of your work. We've got, we've taken a few shots out of here and uh, some of the stuff, but um, this is quite a fat book. It seems like, uh, how long does it take you to say create a Murphy two-page comic strip? Well, I used to, uh, I actually used to put it off until the last minute. I, <laughs> if, it, if it was due on... Monday morning, I'd start at Sunday night. <laughs> no homework that night. Just, I was too busy surfing. I'm too busy surfing to do much artwork, really. And most of the work that you've done is all just uh, 
freehand or you, you use it? I've noticed that you used airbrush quite a bit too. And a lot of it's done with mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to fake us all out. <laughs> so what's in the future for Rick Griffin? What's he gonna What's he gonna surprise us with in the in the 80s going into the 90s? Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. May in the meantime, I'll just stick with my waves. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming on the show, Rick. We're You're really welcome. happy to have you. And Randy, thanks for getting Rick in here. Yeah, you guys to... go back a long way, eh? Well, 57 to uh, 86. Well, how many years is that? We never finished school. You still though. managed to get out there and catch a few? Does he still get out there and get drag you out there and catch a few? Randy? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We have a good time. And then you still get him to grease his hair every now and again and play her dad, too? Huh. Sometimes. <laughs> okay, it, thanks for coming. It was a great period in time. Thanks for coming on the show, guys. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Us. Thanks a lot. We're going to go and look at some footage right now, and uh, then we'll be back in the studio with Dennis Jarvis and a couple of his little grommet buddies from the South Bay.